Welcome to this special edition of Alcacon's OpenCMS screencast. The upcoming version 8.5 of OpenCMS will feature inline content editing directly on the web page, as well as next level form based editing. This is provided by Alcacon's new Acacia editor based on IKS semantic web technology. Now let's see Acacia in action. Here I am on the OpenCMS demo website called Wonderful World of Flowers. After logging in, I click on the toolbar button to start the advanced direct edit mode of OpenCMS 8. Editable content elements are now marked with the bull's eye. A click on the pen starts the Casia editor for the selected article. I am now editing the title inline. As you can see, simple and more complex text manipulations can easily be done directly on the web page itself. When I save my changes, the Acacia editor closes. Sometimes it's just better to use forms for editing content. That's why Acacia supports both inline and form based editing. Let's modify an article which is only partly displayed on this page. You can see the full article is editable in the form view of Acacia. As in previous versions of OpenCMS, the form is created dynamically based on the schema of the content. With a click on the plus, a new paragraph is being created. Now I add a headline for the paragraph. As usual, text can be edited with a rich text editor. Acacia is a RESTful HTML5 application with a minimum of client-server communication which results in a much better user experience. For example, I can easily reorder content elements with drag and drop. With the Ajax look and feel Acacia will make the content manager's work more efficient. As industrial partner of IKS, we enabled Acacia to find related images based on IKS semantic web technology. After I activated the inline edit mode for the article about Barack Obama, a single click on the search button analyzes the given text in order to find persons, places and other entities. In the result list, I select an image and drag it into the Visivic editor. In the background, Apache Stunball analyzes the text and figures out the occurrence of entities. The found entities are passed to Google and Flickr in order to retrieve matching images. Apache Stunball is a set of software components for semantic content management initiated by IKS. This concludes the Alcacons IKS screencast. Thank you very much for your attention.